Oh, I can't believe it, family. I just did you a great video with first hand experience to show you what this, with evidence to show you the, these planes, so called planes, that are uh, stratospheric aerosol injection chemtrail planes that are injecting this white stuff into the atmosphere, so, always over the path of the sun, supposedly to block out the sun because we're all boiling to death you know we're all dying because of global warming which is all fake but the whole climate change change agenda is all fake they're altering it with this stuff and then they're blaming us for it i mean just look at it anyway never mind <laughs> that's my rant about chemtrails over but i just want people to be aware that when you see those planes leaving those long white lines in the air they're called chemtrails and that's what they're doing they're blocking out the sun um, with these chemtrails and you need to know about it because it's a sign Jesus said there would be fearful and great sights from heaven and blocking out the sun if that isn't a fearful and great sight then I don't know what is um, anyway I'm, if you're new to this channel I'm a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ um, the way that will lead to salvation for your soul a guaranteed place in heaven and God has made it so simple for everyone to, to make it to heaven God loves his creation you know he loves you and um, it doesn't matter what you've done you might think well I've done too much evil in this life for him to, to, to love me or accept me but that's not true he will accept you on one condition that you believe on him the Lord Jesus promised he will not turn anyone away that comes to him. So this is reassuring to know it, especially if you think that you're so unworthy that, you know, he won't accept you because... Imagine this, a man murders uh, a, thousand, a thousand women and uh, just an example, rapes them and, and then murders them. I mean, this is, this is quite, quite uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> um, uh, a nasty uh, example really but but it's just to show that the mercies of God are above the heavens it says so if that person had murdered a thousand people not just women men or whatever but then believed the gospel of the Lord Jesus they would be saved the Bible says all have sinned and all come short of the glory of God so you might think well I haven't murdered anybody so I, I'm good no all have sinned lie lying if you've lied that's one sin if you've broken one sin you've broken them all the bible says so if you've hated somebody that's murder according to the word of god so all have sinned we, we all have done it i've hated people in the past of course they have um, i'm only human but the bible says that the wages of sin is death that means hell but the gift of god which he wants to give you and everybody is eternal life through jesus christ our lord for everyone that believes, no matter who you are, no matter what you have done, like I said, he'll accept anybody and everybody, regardless of sexual preference, he'll accept you just as you are, just where you are at. And I want to make this very clear. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that any of these things are good. Uh, I'm not saying that murdering somebody's good or anything, or sexual immorality is good but uh no i'm not uh but it can be forgiven because this world is very unforgiving but jesus christ is all forgiving and he will accept anybody and everybody like i said on that one one thing one uh one condition is that they believe the gospel of jesus christ that christ died for our sins on that cross according to the scriptures and he was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures and if you believe that in your heart when you know it's true that jesus did it for you and you call upon him you will be saved or you confess him as lord you will be saved it's that simple it really is that simple and uh do you know hold on a second unfortunately unfortunately there's many people who profess christ who, who actually put people off the kingdom of God. They, 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 they falsely represent the Lord God. God is love. 
for starters, for so God is love. And these people, wolves in sheep's clothing, that's what they are. They will say, if you don't keep up the good works, and if you don't repent from every sin, first of all, you're not making it in the rapture, and you'll be left behind. And if you don't repent from every sin during the tribulation, <laughs> even just, just before you have your head chopped off, then you will also go to hell. <laughs> you know, even if you're saved already, past tense. <laughs> This is what these people say, so, you know, and it's not true, but we, we, we were not saved, God, we're saved by God's grace through faith, faith in Jesus, that he died on that cross for all our sins and he rose again from the dead, and it's not of ourselves, it's the free gift of God, not by our own works, not by our good works, lest any man should boast, so, it might be sinus problems again, it might be might be a pollen thing because it's just getting spring now and the spring flowers are coming out it might be i don't know I mean, it wasn't like that yesterday it's like this couple grass so uh so i just thought i'd come down here to start with and uh i feel quite tired actually but anyway tomorrow me and brother rob are going preaching so uh i think i'll probably do another video later on uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I may even do a live stream, just see how I feel. Uh, because it would be nice to have some live fellowship with everybody, wouldn't it? Uh, what do you think, guys? And uh, and, it, and it's Sunday as well, so you, none of you will be, most of you shouldn't be working. I, I shouldn't say none of you, but most of you shouldn't be working. Uh, I know there's a lot of people need to still work on a Sunday, but if I do a live stream later, and then you can fellowship live on on there and ask me questions or whatever. I mean, I don't I don't know everything, you know, but, I, but I'll try to answer what 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 I, what I do know. And anyway, so going preaching tomorrow with brother brother Rob, and um, so please pray for us. Yesterday I felt your prayers. Oh, by the way, um, because I was preaching from this, I was using the other team's system so I was using their speaker their microphone and she was filming with her camera but she's on Facebook filming it on Facebook as far as I know I don't understand but she said she's gonna send me uh, the, the videos of me preaching and hopefully not just me preaching but the, the, the other guy was good as well um, so uh, well they were all good so I hope uh, I hope they can show, she can send, figure out how to send them to me, share them to me, then I'll upload them. Uh, uh, so, so yeah, but, I mean, she's such a hard-working woman, is Dawn. I mean, she really is. She, she, she obviously cares a lot about people. So is, so is Arnie. They're both lovely, lovely couple. Anyway, let's go this way. Uh, walking down here for you guys really just to show you the sea I know many of you live in land and you don't get to see the sea some uh, often it's uh, what they call it resurrection uh, so Sunday today Friday Sunday, Sunday on the third day yes three days later he will rise again yes so why, why, why is it called Easter Monday then? I don't, I don't understand it. I mean, I, I don't celebrate Easter. Uh, I don't. I don't celebrate Christmas. Uh, I just, uh, just don't bother with it. I, I haven't got a problem with anybody who does it, and I, I'm not against it. But all these things like Lent and all this stuff, uh, these are, these stem from uh, stuff like Ishtar and. Uh, you know, uh, what was the son of Ishtar? Uh, the false, rec false resurrection of Tammuz and all, all this stuff. It's all wrapped up, involved in, in uh, Easter. So uh, this is why I don't, don't, I, I, I don't, I don't like it. But, but then again, I'm, I'm not too bothered if people want to celebrate it. But I would, I won't do it. You tell me if you celebrate Easter. I ain't got anything wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with celebrating the resurrection of our 
Lord and Messiah Jesus Christ. It's just that there's too much connections with with all of that it surrounds it, like Lent. Well, there's another thing that surrounds it as well, which is not it's not biblical. So, but if you're not doing any harm, I just you know, and you're doing things in the spirit, I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, I keep getting these messages, but uh, yeah, like I said, a, a lot of a lot of these preachers, churches, are actually putting people off God because they make it sound about religion and all oh, what you must do instead of believing on what the Son of God, Jesus Christ, did. You know, so that's why people are put off. One of the reasons. Sorry. Then they've got these scientists telling them that their ancestors were baboons you know chimpanzees and they believe it that they were some sort of one cell amiga that met another cell a different cell of amiga in a in a in a some sort of a pond you know and then you you grew into a fish then you grew legs and you walked out of the sea, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. The whole evolution thing is, uh, it, it, it's, it's laughable. It's mockery, you can see, yeah, it's a mockery of, they're mocking us, that we would believe such things. Or that these d demons posing as aliens, <laughs> they've come to save us, apparently. And they're the ones that abducted all the Christians, you know? Oh, let me show you. Hold on, see if I can get it out of my pocket. Dawn gave me this tract yesterday. I'm going to ask her if she can get me some more of these because... Uh, hold on a second. I should have got this ready before and uh, I just had a busy morning. Hold on. Hold. Oh, here we go. First one I, I find. So I've got these tracks in my pocket. I just... Trying to do it with one hand is very, very difficult. Oh, come on. Oh, my word. Hold on a second. I love you all, beautiful family. I like to tell you, I like to tell you a few times during the uh, video. I keep calling them films. But it's <laughs> right, so, so look at this. Alien abduction or rapture? Have you been left behind? So, so they're quite good. Um, there was some others that they sent me as well, but that was the one that really spot. Really, I could do with. I could. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be preaching on that tomorrow. I'm gonna try to remember to preach on that. Well, whatever the Lord wants me to preach on. Uh, this one as well. The mark of the beast. He's coming soon, reject 666. And then it just gives the scripture. And then another one. Someday you will stand before God. You must have his righteousness. The good news is his imputed righteousness is a free gift through faith alone in Christ alone. Yeah, so God made him that knew no sin, Jesus Christ, who lived the perfect life and never sinned, God made him that knew no sin to be sin for us so that we might be the righteousness, be made the righteousness of God in him, in Christ. So, so um, the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin and it is your lifetime of sin. Hold on a minute when I get these back in here. Oh man, making this so much longer than it needs to be, but never mind. Ooh. So, um, Yes, so it is the blood of Jesus does cleanse your lifetime of sin. Yes, God will not remember it again. But I do have to tell you that, you know, um, especially kind of repetitive sin and um, uh, can have earthly consequences. You know, you can uh, I mean, just think of all the examples of what sin causes. And not only that, you can grieve Holy Spirit, your, your Father, you can grieve by the way you live in your life or what, how you treat others or, uh, you know, you can uh, 
you can just upset your walk with him. Obedience. It's best to remain in obedience to him and do those things which are pleasing to him and love one another and you can't go too wrong. So I'm going to get off now. I'm going to say it's hard talking and I need to get my lungs full of breath, but I love you all, beautiful family. That's the castle at Scarborough. Um, let me just pray for you all first. Dear loving Heavenly Father, I just thank you for everyone watching. Lord God, I just pray. I, I just pray that you strengthen them all with all power and might. Lord God, and let your holy fire come upon them, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, uh, I pray you bless them and, and keep them in perfect love. And keep, keep them in the hidden place of the Most High. Lord God, in the shadow of the Most High. I pray you make your face shine upon them, Lord God, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, the glory of the Lord resting on each of them, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, lifting up the power, and the health, and the, uh, the uh, light, and the beauty of the Lord our God, the countenance of the Lord, lift it up upon them, I pray thee, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the glory of Jesus Christ, Amen. So, I just feel, while I'm healthy, I hope I stay this way this time. Well, when I say healthy, I'm not as bad as I was. But, while I'm like this, I just think I might as well just give it my all. Listen, I think we've got days left. That's all. If that. Um, before we're gone. This is what I believe. I could be wrong. So I'm not setting no date, but this is how it feels to me. There's something so, so significant about this solar eclipse. There really is. I also don't, I, don't, I mean, Jesus said, do not be deceived. I also believe that it could be some deception involved with it, some psychological operation of the elites involved with it. Um, there could be manifestation of de demons uh, during, I have no idea, There's, I've, I've seen a few videos of potential things that could happen. But we don't have a spirit of fear. We have a spirit of power and love and a sound mind. So trust in him, guys, at all times. Pour out your heart in complaints to him. Bring your complaint and your supplication to him. Just um, tell him, that there was a woman yesterday who had just come to Christ and she said, how do I pray? And she asked me how to pray. And I said, there's no special way to pray. You just um, tell God what's on your heart. You know, when you're talking to him, just talk to him like he's your daddy, basically, because that's what he is, he's your father in heaven. And just spill out your heart to him. Doesn't matter that you get every word right, because he knows, he knows, he knows what you're going through. So, uh, Pray to him. Just remember the things that are impossible with men are possible with God. So uh, you might be feeling that you might not get over that illness. Don't listen to doctors that say, oh, you're never going to get over this. You're going to have it for life and stuff like this. Um, I mean, listen to them. You don't have to be rude to them. But what I'm saying is don't receive that. Um, it's like, if, if, they, if they said to me, oh, you've got cancer, I would say, no, no, I don't, I don't have cancer, um, and I don't want any treatment, and I'm, you know, and I might have cancer, but um, I'd, I'd pray to the Lord, and um, I believe, I believe on Him, and, and the things He's created, herbal remedies and foods and stuff to, to fight it off, like I know a pastor here, um, Nathan, Nathan, he had cancer and um, he got rid of it. So there you go. With prayer, with eating well, you know, certain foods you can use. And uh, anyway, I'm fine enough to go preaching tomorrow. I'm going to give it me all tomorrow. I tell you, I really am because I believe the time is at hand, like I said. It's, it, you know, it's, it's difficult to tell people on camera that you think that we might be gone within 12 days, but. That's how I feel. I may be wrong. Um, if if I am wrong, <laughs> it's not going to be just much long after that, um, because of the fig tree generation, for starters, and there's so much more, so much more. 
I notice when I'm preaching, the majority of people, huh, they just want to have a good time, there's nothing wrong with that. And they're just, just, but they're just, they're not looking around what's going on. Jesus said, watch. You know what I mean? He says, watch. He said, watch. Watch. So you see all these signs, so you know that he's coming. And we've been seeing them for years. And now there's just an explosion of uh, Bible prophecy happening. And uh, World War Three is about to begin, obviously. It looks like it. So uh, we must be out of here. There's so much more. The complete rejection of God, which I notice being a street preacher. Don't be one of those ones who reject God. The fool says in his heart that there is no God. Psalm 14 verse 1. Don't be a fool. Um, Jesus said, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. And it does need to be uh, explained, the word repent a little bit. It just means change your mind, which is what I say on the streets. Somebody said I, I should uh, define uh, repentance, but you'll see that I do. You'll see that I say, repent, change your mind, like this, you know, and I do quite often explain it, but uh, anyway, never mind. Uh, but uh, I don't believe in this uh, great revival just before the Lord comes either. Yes, people are getting saved, fortunately. But it's um, it's a minority compared to the majority. It is. You just got to be realistic and honest. It, it shouldn't stop you from going out of your way to try and pray for people and bring them to Christ. But uh, we won't give up the battle until the end. But um, it's during the tribulation, uh, Revelation 7, verse 9 and 14, that great multitude that no man can count. Uh, so imagine that. So imagine people spread out right up to that castle. If, say there was no water there, all the way up there and all the way around there. And say, say all over there and you had, you had uh, six weeks to count them all as far as the eye could see. <laughs> you know, so a great multitude anyway. So, and you still won't be able to count them, probably. <laughs> So, anyways, because that's how many people are going to get saved during the tribulation. So, it's very comforting to know. Uh, very comforting. Right, I'm going to get off, guys. I think I said that a while back, but I love you all. I just thought I'd come down here and do this video for you. I know you're struggling, a lot of you. But stand fast, hold fast, be strong. Whatever strength you have, love the Lord. Remember, ask and you will receive. And you don't receive at first ask again and, and say and say lord look i'm standing on your word it says ask you promised lord i'm standing on your promise lord and i thank you that you will answer this and have some faith then and, and um, he will reward you and answer you so all right then guys and the birds has tweeted a nice song i love nature i wonder what this Paradise is like absolutely beautiful. Maybe, maybe even the flowers um, uh, make a, a nice noise of music of some sort. Uh, you know, I don't know, <laughs> but it's going to be so nice. It's going to be wonderful, everlasting joy. Very soon, in a twinkling of the eye, could be today. Even Dawn said yesterday, it could be today to the crowd as she's preaching so I'm glad because um, she's she's aware that the, the coming of the Lord Jesus the rapture is imminent imminent what well, I mean guys listen tell me what would you do now if if you knew that we were going within 12 days you know you'd uh, I think it, well it, it well, for example, if, if the Lord was coming tonight at 6 p.m., I can just imagine me going around all the neighbours and down the street and knocking on it. If I, if I knew for sure, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd be going around there with an urgency and a panic, knocking on everybody's door. I'd, I'd probably get I'd booted off a few doors, <laughs> probably. But I'd try, you know, like... Uh, uh, this ship is sinking. And they need to get on the lifeboat, which is Jesus Christ. Right, I'll see you in the clouds in just a moment, family.